morning here we are again with the 100 day project and so we are going to do the envelopes these ones that I was able to get the image to stay straight and they're more the elongated type so except that one I glued it upside down so that one's really thick Look, I glued that paper in on the inside I put that there so it can slide in and close um, and so that's upside down um, so anyway so let me show you how I did these ones and I'll tell you what my inspiration for these were is this that De Steffi did for us so um, and of course you could use that as a template if you wanted to but I like the I, I just like the go, doing the whole process from start to scratch so fold it in half I'm just going to do one with a straw paper. And, and if you don't want to get the creases, you could pinch top top and bottom for your halfway mark. And then just fold your paper on the inside of that, the two pinch marks, top and bottom. And try and sort of more or less get it the same on that side. Just checking I'm on screen. Okay. Then what did I do? I did that. Oh, and then I got these. Now, I used my mat. So, I've got the same mess on my table as yesterday. So, you just have to bear with me. Um, maybe, um, yeah, maybe I'll do it. So, I've put my mat. Can you see me here? I put it on the halfway, half inch mark there. And I'm going to fold. I'm going to have my point there. So, you'll see. Oh, no, maybe I'm going to go further than that. Maybe bigger down to the next half inch here. So fold it there. So from it's so it's what is that one inch? No, two inches. Is it? I don't know. Anyway. And then here as well. So it's about the same. So I'm just using my mat, otherwise I won't fold them the same. And then go ahead and do it here. It's looking complicated, isn't it? Do that here, put it on there, and I'm going to that dot up there. So that's three half inches. So I guess it's one and a half inch. Inch, yes, that's what it is. One and a half inches. Because you know I don't work in inches. I just sort of, um, I only know centimetres, but I'm, my mat's in inches. I think I've done that one a bit more. There we go. Then the next job, it's fairly simple actually. The next job is to fold it up. And I'm going to fold it up about half an inch. And you can make, you can fold them up less if you want, like it'll just change the shape of your, the size of your envelope. And then this one, we're going to fold up half an inch as well. So I'm lining up my half inch with that, with the, where the triangle starts and I'm just going to fold it up half an inch there as well to the line. And look at that, we've already got our shape so i recommend that you keep one folded so you can see what you did you could even number now what do we cut out here well we need to cut out all of this here and you'll see we'll get our shape and then we've got one more little bit of folding to do so we're going to cut that out there so the first thing i did was just cut out this rectangle here really do enjoy it when you've you've made the whole thing yourself like that Again, it's something that you can mass make because you can um, just make many at one time. Now here, we don't obviously want these to be the tri be a triangle, so I'm just going to um, fold these. Oh, I folded them in a little bit. So let's just put it on here. So it's three. Mine. Oh, isn't that wonderful? It turned out to be three inches. So fold it to half. Like so. Is that going to make it too big in there? It is. So I'm going to fold it more. I'm going to fold it over half there. 
And this one doesn't matter because th this one will be, I'm going to fold it like that. And then I'm going to trim those off. And then, so that's the top here. So I want to fold that over half. So leaving about half an inch there, down, down the below. And this one I'm just going to fold in like that so it doesn't crash into the crease. That's the purpose of that one. And then trim there and there. So it's not a perfect triangle, but I'm more interested that where the top is, is more slopey than the bottom. And you'll see why in a minute. And then I can trim these off. You can use a, like an X-Acto knife if you want to be all precise and have really straight lines. You can see the shape is taking form. So doing it with the plain paper first and then we'll use the fun paper. And then this I'm going to snip off because, you know, I don't like those. So I chose to fold that one. The other ones I didn't fold like that, see? So you get the deeper plunge down there and then that's the top. And there's my envelope. Really easy. Nice shape. So the other ones I folded this equal. So then that was like that. So we could tr we'll try that. And here, look, see I've got this little crease here. That means it's... It's um, crashing into the crease, so we'll just snip a bit, a little bit off, and I'll do the same over here. So I put my glue here and here. No, I'd actually put my glue on, yeah, there, and then a little bit up, up here, and then that will be glued down. So why don't we do that so you can see that. But not quite the way to the top because um, it doesn't, it will, otherwise you'll glue it shut. So making envelopes from scratch we are. There we go. And that's like a regular envelope now. Love that. And you can, with your die cut machine or with your X-Acto knife, you can cut a window out and put... Um, not cellophane, what's it called? Um, I've forgotten what it's called. Um, oh, acetate, that's it. So I'm going to, do, this is um, from Steffi's architecture kit that he did a while ago. It's, it's really nice paper. So I'm going to try one with this. And I've just printed a marble, I think that's what I actually, it's a piece of marble paper that I have that I scanned this one but you can find marble paper i think um the graphics fairy has marble paper the new york public library has graphics has uh, marble paper as well so there's those folds then what do i do i'll keep forgetting those go in oh then we're going to do this so i'm going to put it on there and i need to i don't know if this piece of paper was the same size as the other one you could do smaller let's try Let's just go to this line here. Let's try smaller to there. Just maybe go with your bone folder and make sure it's all creased properly. Into there. Okay, and then flip it around. Oh, what were my measurements? Okay, so one inch I'm doing this time. Well, maybe it'd help if I just put it on. Is it one inch? No, it's one and a half inches. Okay. One day I'll get my inches right. I didn't even ask you guys how you are. I just got down to business. How are you all? I hope every, everyone is good, crafting away. Okay, and then I can fold this one. I should have done the other one as well. Fold this one up half an inch or whatever to there and... Right. It doesn't matter if it's not exactly the same, I don't think. Oh, they do need to meet. It does matter. So it needs to come up higher. They do need to meet, guys. Just remember that. I nearly had a ding -a -ling moment. Make sure they meet. So these ones with the 
A4 copy paper, which is our copy paper that we have here, same as the UK. Um, oh, I love that. Um, they do... Um, what do I want to say? They do do turn out a bit smaller than if you were to use a different type of paper. So we've got to cut out our triangles. And this one I might do it, um, you know, the, the triangles halfway. I'll show you what I mean in a second. I can hardly see my creases on this dark paper. So just be wary of that. I'll keep those. I can use those in collage. Nothing is wasted. Well, some things are, but not as little is wasted as possible for me. I think even with these printed papers, it's quite exciting because you don't know how it's going to look. those off. You could glue them down but I think I prefer them trimmed off, the look of them uh, trimmed off. So if you if you think it finding it confusing just um, fold a scrap piece of paper along with me like pause the video like do each step and pause the video um, and put a marking on there in which order you're going. Now we need to do these and I'm just going to do these so that they meet sort of halfway the normal way rather than messing about and then I have to trim off a bit off the top bit whatever I decide is the top. So I'm just eyeballing it really. off and then we'll sort it out so with a printed paper or if you've got like a nice big book that has this um, horizontal image that you're making into one of these types of pocket um, envelopes you want to um, just be sure because uh, that you've when you decide which is your opening flap which will be the top you want to make sure and I think that will be fine yes that's the right way see I've got writing there so if I were to glue this down, then I would be confused. But I'm going to glue this one down, which is the deeper part. And that's the top. And that's everything's in the right direction. Oh, those are upside down, but that doesn't matter. Now here we've got, I find that to be too much. So I'm just going to snip there. And that's why I liked the other fold a bit better, because I didn't have such a deep thing there on this one it worked out better because I folded that you know at more at an angle but it doesn't matter so let's glue this one down before I forget I need to go like so and there do the same here And there's an envelope and reinforce your creases how cool is that and we'll do something we'll do something with that I just want to do the other ones now I'll fold one more let's do a pretty one um, and then I'll, I'll pause the camera possibly and um, do the other ones so um, I'll do the folding on the other ones and then I'll come back because otherwise we'll be here forever I don't know how long we've been already okay so folding to the almost to the center just put the lid on my glue. So my folding might not be perfect. Let's just run our nails along there. And then here we need to do our triangle. So fold in half, 
in the longer length, horizontal, right? Bring them to the center, not fold in half, just bring them to the center. Then we do our triangles, maybe take note, we'll do our triangles and I'm going to do these ones. I liked the, with this paper, I'm going to do the one inch. If I've got a bigger piece of paper, I can do them a bit deeper, my triangles for the flaps. There. Now, it's not really a too much of a direction that way, so let's just do this one anyway. So this one is one inch, I said. No, one and a half. No, one. No, one and a half. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Can't read my inches. One and a half. Okay, and then I'm going to fold up half. Um, I want to do it. Oh, yes, this will be the top. So, yep, fold that one up. Maybe a bit more. I think I'll do it deeper. A little bit deeper than that. You just got to eyeball it a little bit. There is a bit of eyeballing happening and you've got to make sure, I'm not even going to measure, I just want to make sure they meet. They need to meet and you can just really line them up on top of each other. Okay, and that's it. That is it. Yes, that's good. So this is the bottom, this is the top. So trim off our excess. First we cut out our little rectangle here if we can see our creases. see it it's there but I can't see it My triangles I didn't cut that one I need I don't want the bendy bit I need to cut it inside the crease line and I didn't trim that very well okay that's better very well either okay and nor did I cut that I haven't done a very good job at all okay right so which is the top and bottom I think that is that is so this is the bottom and this is the top so I think I am going to fold this one down like I did the first one because I like the deeper thing. Let's do this side as well. I left that little amount of space so just to make it more or less the same. I'm not even measuring it. I'm now, I'm at now into the eyeballing phase of the project. And then this one I'm just going to fold it up in that funny angle there. Just, you know, just... To the point so you get the point there like that I'm not even measuring it it doesn't matter because you're not going to be able to see it trim that off trim this one off snip that off because I don't like that so you could even glue those down if you wanted to so it was even stronger but you don't need to that's an optional thing that off okay just chuck those over there this is going to be a very pretty one just double check before you do your gluing just double check I've got writing there so I need to have that like that so this is going to go here and here and like that good and yeah I think that's going to be good I might just I don't like this bit here I have to snip it I just have a thing about it I just need to snip it off there we go I don't want it flush with my crease Okay, so here we're going to put our glue on. So you can make them up fairly quickly. Yep. 
that one that's actually going to be all right with a bit of glue there. Bit of glue here, bit of glue there, bit of glue everywhere. And I need to come across here just a little bit. Wonderful. So much fun. You know, and once I saw a tutorial printing on envelopes, the window envelopes, and it's quite a, you know, it's a bit like printing on fabrics. You've got to use, use the removable spray glue or something removable. And then you've got to put the paper on and then the window gets printed on. Um, so this is a nice um, other solution to get printed on um, envelopes. You really can go to town with these, I think. Imagine mailing those out to someone. Those... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fold the other ones and then I will put the camera back on. Okay, so I'm back and look how cool these envelopes are. I just love them. Really, really fun. That's the other architectural one. And then you could make a beautiful card and send it to someone. That's the straw paper one and the other architectural one and then the other pretty paper one there. So, um, oh, I did do a tricky thing. I just wanted to show you quickly. Um, I can show you with my template here. One tricky thing that I did, which I found really fast is, so I've got all my folds here, I've got to this point, and I've got to start my snipping. And I showed you to cut out that bit and then that bit off, but we can do this even a bit faster. So I just want to show you. So what I did here was I got to, went to this point here just snipped in a little bit at an angle and then snipped it off like that. Now don't freak out, but once you get confident about what you've got to snip off, this is a good option because it's faster. Snip that off. Snip that off. And I will fold myself another one so that way I've got my little sample because when I don't do these for a little while, then I'll forget how it was done. Let's snip that off. So then when you open it out, it looks like this. Okay. And all you need to cut off now is this. I'm in the biggest mess guys I'm gonna to have to do a cleanup so let me just see which way I like the best as my top and bottom it doesn't really matter that I think that will be my top so I'll do my deeper fold here like so and then my little fold here and I did another nifty thing here that was a bit faster that and what I did was I just trimmed a very fine line along here so I didn't even have to open it out I just cut it and all my bits fell off that. so much easier no messing about and there you have it No, that side that way and there's see that how quick was that okay so I will fold another one but not now what a mess I'll have to tie, sort out the bits I can reuse and the bits I can't use okay so I mean obviously these are super pretty these ones remember which way is the top um, I think we can certainly have some form of just say it was like an address label on there I, would, I kind of like this blue one but this particular one might be too big i have to see if i've got a smaller one boy am i in, 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 it's like a bomb hit in here oh that's a bad use of words sorry sorry guys if that offended anyone i shouldn't say that at this time should i let's try this one but i think this might be too small i don't have the intermediate size upside down I can tell it's upside down because there's the writing there. So that's what that one would look like. Just 
this one to have a little look. I think that's too big. And then what else do I have? I've got my new kits. I wonder if there's anything in here that I might like to... I mean, she would be lovely on there. I don't know if she's too big. Um... them could put them on as a little pocket that would be cute have a little pocket Let's see what else is here those those such a mess I can't even see where the pages are looking I love that I like the clashy as you know what I was looking for was the other one this is what I was looking for I was thinking this might it might blend in too much but I wanted to try this to snip off those little annoying bits as you know anything that's annoying I always say it just cut it off it gives you great satisfaction too because it's annoying you I do kind of like those little scrolly bits there I might keep that try and keep those I think that's going to be really pretty on there. I'm going to put that there. Decision. I've made a decision. I think decisions are good. My next decision will be to tidy up my mess. I probably need to actually sit down. I've gotten to the point where I probably need to sit down and do some fussy cutting in front of the TV. That's what I need to do. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm wondering if... Do very good cutting on that one. think I want that one I was trying to avoid avoid having to cut one out I don't think I have an appropriate bird at the moment I've got these lovely Victorian birds but they blend in too much a little parrot no, I think I'll just leave it like that Okay, so that's that one. And then we have this one here, and that's the top. And what would we like to put on there? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Who knows? what I've got flying around here. I don't think these are in the style of what I would put on there, I don't think.
I was thinking that these, these could be nice. Oh, I like these colours together. Let me just tear, let me just tear down this one. I love how the kits sort of work together. I really do like that. I'm liking the colours of the little trees with this. I'm wondering if I would put this on. I wasn't going to tear that off and I've torn it off. Oh, look, I really like that. I'm going to glue that on there. You get the rest of the paper on the other side. I do like that. I, you know, you could put it on as a pocket as well. But I, I haven't, I wanted to fold down the top so I could make it a pocket, but I've ripped it off. So um, I'm not going to make it a pocket, but I am going to glue it on the front. So I love the colours with that sort of background that Steffi created. Just make sure it's straightish. Okay, I really do like that. And I wondered if I had a mini one of these, too many squares, too many rectangles. I think I'll leave it like that. But I could have maybe even just a little piece of paper just to add a little pop of colour somewhere. Maybe like there or maybe up there. So let's glue that on. And this is why I keep my little scraps because they're perfect. And that's going to go on there. that's the back you could decide to do something I just also just double check you haven't glued it shut it does I, I did glue one strap once and it did I did manage to open it again um, so look, this one doesn't need too much it's so pretty I keep wanting to put this one somewhere I actually do like it on there I might I could trim off a bit more I might even just trim right to the blue try not to make a mess that's better it covers up less of that did I put it there or would I put it I think I put it up there I like it up there Honestly, I'm not going to put too much on these pretty paper ones. Oh, I don't like it over there. No, I think I like it here in the blue. I do. Even though I'm covering up my flower a little bit, there's other flowers down there. So I can get over it. Love that. Oh. And then we'll do this one. Okay. have a think about it. I don't want to cover all of that up I so because I'm not going to use one of those even though they would look nice on there but I could use a piece of it no it's in here. So definitely a mass making thing to do. We like mass making things because we do need a lot of things. No. Um, just trying to think what sort of thing would I like to see on there. Oh, I found some ephemera. some more I needed these I needed these for the things okay well I'll put those aside I just found all these bits and pieces that I'd made um, off camera oh and those I can fold those and 
How cute. Oh, I'm getting distracted. Don't do that. I was going to fold that. Okay, what am I going to put on here? Decisions. Decisions. I don't want to cover it all up because it's very pretty. Mm. That's pretty. I wanted to maybe add a bit of colour. Put that up there. And let's just see. Do I oh, these are the ones that aren't cut out. Do I want to pop, put a pop of colour or stay in the tones of the thing? Pop of colour or stay in the tones. Let's just tear this down a little bit more. See, I do like the book page. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay with the tone of the colours. You could add a stamp or something like that if you wanted to. I'm just going to see if I've got any of your bits. I might like to add this. There, up there, up there. Okay, right, so we're done. We've done the other envelopes with, you know, getting the design straight. So, that, and I put marble paper. Now, the reason why I printed on the other side, I didn't say that, is so that way they're not um, too bulky if you want to put them in a journal. If you're not putting them in a journal, then there's no problem with the bulkiness. So that's that one. And then we did this one. I love that. Simple. I really like how it turned out. And then this one here. That, and then I didn't decorate this one. But I have decorated one here, so you can see, I'll show you how I did that. I just put a little, little bits of paper on it. Like so, that was one of the original ones I made. So super fun. I did some with this. This side is the right way up, that side is upside down. Um, and that one is quite thick. It feels like cardstock because I glued two pieces of paper together. And I put the circle there. It was actually cut from the corners. See, it's got the crease. But it's still strong. And that holds it closed. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, really fun. I really like the satisfaction of making 
the envelopes myself rather than having a punch board. Um, I've always sort of thought I don't want to buy one of those. So this is a, a nice alternative. I've got two methods. We've got this, this one, the triangle one. There's my sample there. So I recommend you keep a sample not glued down so you can see um, how you folded it. So I'm going to actually remake my other one. Um, so that way I've got both there ready to go. So obviously with a regular piece of copy paper, this is about the size you're going to get. You can make them smaller, but you'd have trouble making them bigger um, unless you were to print on A3, which is the bigger paper, or have like a nice different type of paper that's big. And then you could get them bigger. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm going to go off and get some other things done. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye.